Honorable Aminu Sulaimon is a chieftain of All Progressives Congress APC from Kirby State. He is the Director General of Tinubu Support Organization, a movement galvanizing support for election of Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu as Nigeria's president in 2023. In this interview, he speaks on the controversy trailing the zoning arrangements in the party, insecurity challenges, and other sundry issues. Well, a question was thrown to him. Some days ago, we saw the massacre of rice farmers by Boko Group in the Northeast. Many have called on the president to sack service chiefs and inject new blood with zeal to end insecurity in the region. What do you think should be done to address the worsening insecurity in the North? He said, Mr. President is working hard to tackle this problem and I know very soon it will get to an end. I have always said it and I will, and I am still repeating it. Boko Haram is one of the worst deadliest groups and I know Boko Haram and insecurity are not peculiar to Nigeria. It is something going on all over the world. And I know Mr. President is working hard to address the issue. Presently, government is making many arrangements to ensure it comes to an end. And even to this moment, I am talking with you. They are having a meeting at the State House in Abuja on the issue. We must thank Governor Zulum of Bono State for doing a good job. We pray for him and the entire country. God will intervene over insecurity in the region. So how about calls that service chiefs should be sacked? Well, Mr. President knows better than us as a former military general. He knows the reason why he's keeping them. He has the experience as a former military general and when people are asking him to sack the service chiefs, he knows better than us and he will take the decision when the time comes. I know he will do the best to make sure that he tackles the insecurity in Nigeria. So what is Tinubu support organization all about and why coming up with this group at this point in time? He said, let me start by giving brief history of myself with Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. I was with him since he was governor of Lagos State and I still maintain my relationship with him. I am part of the journey of relationship between President Muhammad Buhari and Ashiwaju and I know how far they have gone to ensure that President Buhari emerged as president of Nigeria. I know the role that our leader and our mentor Ashiwaju play for Mr. President and that is why we decided to come up with this Tinubu support organization because there was a gentleman agreement that at the end of the tenure of President Buhari, the presidency will move to Southwest and in Southwest, Ashiwaju is a leading candidate. All the people asking why Ashiwaju, why Ashiwaju, we have an important message for them and the message is since the return of democracy in 1999 and up to today in the old of Nigeria, it is only Ashiwaju who is still relevant in his state. It is not a magic because it is his goodwill that is working for him. So we sat down as people that know him very well and have learned so much from him and decided to say that, you know what, let us use this organization to support him because he has done so much for Lagos and Nigeria and he has done so much for Mr. President. It is time to pay him back. If there's any other candidate in Southwest that can produce the people that Ashiwaju has made, such person should come out. Ashiwaju has produced many leaders and that speaks volume about the sort of leader he is. I am part of the journey and I can mention Vice President Yemi Oshibaju, Minister of Interior, Rauf Aregbe Shola, Baba Tunde Raji Fashola, Minister of Works and Housing, Lai Mohamed, former Chief of Staff from Kwara State, Governor Fayemi from Ikiti State, Sunday Dari, Minister of Sports and so on and so forth. Ashiwaju has paid his dues and it needs to be considered. That is why I am appealing to people with working with Mr. President that they need to support Ashiwaju because he really worked hard for the president to succeed in his bid to become Nigeria's president. Hmm. You just alluded to a gentleman's agreement. The Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tunde Fashola, too, recently asked APC to respect the sign, the said agreement. When was this arrangement made and what is it all about? I told you earlier that politics is about contribution of the people. That is the meaning. You sacrifice your life, use your life, risk your money, and that is an arranged agreement. I could remember 
when some of our presidential aspirants wanted the primaries to be held in Abuja, sensing the game plan, Ashwaju swiftly asked that the primaries be held in Lagos to make sure that Mr. President succeeds. You know that without primaries, the Mr. President could not have emerged. Ashwaju assured that the primaries took place in Lagos so that the process will be credible and for a credible candidate in person of President Muhammadu Buhari to emerge, all of them are still alive. Atiku contested, Kwankwasu contested. Buhari said, I don't have dollars to share. It is only God that can adequately reward Ashiwaju for what he did for Buhari to emerge. That is part of the agreement. Ashiwaju worked hard to ensure that Buhari got APC's ticket. We also know what Ashiwaju has done for APC to stand it today. Ashiwaju also sacrificed his personal ambition for APC to win the presidential election that produced President Buhari. Hmm. Is it true that there is a silent war between President Buhari and Shiwaju Tinubu? Because even recently during the NSAS protest, Ashwaju said some people went to report to Mr. President that he was the major financier of the protest to discredit Buhari's government. He said, what I am seeing is a clear indication that God is with Ashwaju even from the beginning of the protest. A lot of people called me to to say that your man, Ashwaju, is the one sponsoring the protest because he thought Mr. President is not ready to hand over to him. But God has revealed the truth to the people. If Ashwaju is the one sponsoring answers, why did they go to TVC and the nation? All these big people, they have money, but Nigerians are struggling and you cannot see their single penny they have put in Nigeria. This man, Ashwaju, tries to invest here. TVC is one of the best television stations in Nigeria and they know it is owned by its people. TVC employs so many people and yet they go and burn it and the nation. So why are people saying that Tinubu is the one sponsoring answers? This man contributed to contributed to how Nigeria is standing today. He was in Nadeko, the fourth military. The question is how can somebody build a house and then destroy it? Whether they like it or not, Ashwaju is one of the people that built this country. He cannot destroy it. Atiku was in Dubai for over four months. He could not come back to about five days to election. But Ashwaju is still in Nigeria despite the fact that he has the capacity to leave this country and go and stay abroad and leave everybody. But he's still living with us and that is why I am going round southwest telling the yorubas and the people in southwest that they should not repeat the mistake of what happened to awolowo and abiola i am in northern and we have done our two terms two terms buari has done two terms power is coming back to them and so they should reason with ashiwaju and support him because he is the last man well is the last man standing and i know it is only ashiwaju for now People keep saying he's getting old. We thank God America just concluded their election and Joe Biden is 78 years old. And, they, and so they could they should forget the question of age. And I know that Ashwaju will make use of the youth. I mean, if, the, if you see all his cabinet, especially, we can start from His Excellency, the governor of Lagos State, is a young guy. If you look at the head of service, Akim Muri Okwala, is a young guy. If you look at the chief of staff, Tayo Aide, is a young guy. All of the com commissioners, we have young guys, and Ashwaju made all of them to be where they are today. Obanikore wanted to go for Senate. He was asked to bring his son, and if we can support Ashwaju to become president, he's going to employ all. Okay. So, guys, uh, this is uh, one of the chieftains uh, um, in APC. So, of course, since he said uh, Tinubu is his person, so what do you really expect? These are the problems that we really have. But why should he be uh, begging on behalf of Tinubu? If really he, all the things that he did, that he did and he did for Buari, then why should Buari would not want, why will he not want to compensate him back? Why should he himself be going around to be uh speaking on his behalf begging people to do this begging people to do that in my opinion he is uncalled for if you really know that yes he has done or buari himself knows that he has done one thing for him why should you be persuading your people that is to tell you that if because he himself he has sensed that buari is not ready to do anything and they've been singing some kind of songs and it brings it to the, uh, to what people have been saying that you don't uh, do any business with these people because they will disappoint you. And that is the reason why this guy is trying to beg his own people, beg your bad people, this and that. And this idea of uh, he made somebody, he made few... He, he, 
Of course, he did, he did that to all those people so that he will be able to use them. How many people has he been able to, even as a, as a state, they have been able to remove for, from poverty? Okay, if he said uh, what Nigeria is today is one is, is the one who has built it, that means they have built rubbish. They have brought that Nigeria to become the uh, headquarter of uh, people living in abject poverty. What is the good thing that you can pinpoint today? Because it's all about politics. This guy is just talking about politics. He's talking about those of them that are benefiting from him. So, of course, what do you expect him to say? We are talking about anybody, what they have done to the people that people will be proud of, that people will, will be smiling. That's what we are talking about. Not you just select free individuals using them because, because you know that when you, they need your, when you need their help, they will be able to work for you. Those are your errand boys as far as I'm concerned. And this is a very, very bad thing. They will be telling you, made Oshibajo. What are Oshibajo that he made? All, all, the, all the people that this man is talking about. How will all of those uh, people he made, how will they transform to better life for average Nigerians? All of them are the same. Now they will be using, uh, 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 they will be making reference to, to America. The way America is, the way they are, they are, they are treating their people, is this the same thing that you guys are treating Nigerian people? But when it comes to all those kind of things, they will just go and pick. In in all those places, if you don't have job, you are going to, they, are, they will make provision for you. How many provision do you have for your people? None. All of the things, all the infrastructure that we have there, do, do, we, have, do we have them here? No. And now this guy is telling us, hey, oh, Boko Haram is something. Uh, it's, it's, it's a normal thing. It's a, what it, everybody's like, Oh my goodness, what do you really expect from these people? So we should just accept it like that, that Buhari is working. Every day, the, the uh, rate of insecurity has, has gone where we never expected it to be. Everything is getting deteriorated. He said, oh, Buhari knows better. What does he know? People are dying. If, your, if one of your family members was involved in all of this uh, security wahala, would you be talking like this? These people are not just sincere at all. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Let's leave your comment below and let's know your thoughts on what the APC chieftain has said.